Hello, everyone. So today we are going to learn about atoms. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that says 917 Adam. We have the link for the reading. We have our practice questions and we have the email that you send them to. So what is an atom? Well, atoms are the building blocks of matter. They're going to be the smallest particles of an element that still have the properties of that element. OK, elements are going to be pure substances, stuff like nickel, hydrogen, helium. Elements make up all kinds of matter. So all the atoms of a certain element are going to be identical in that they have the same number of protons. Um, and then they're going to be different from the atoms of other elements because other elements are going to have a different number of protons. So the size of atoms, atoms are very small, extremely small. So the radius of an atom is going to be well under one nanometer, which is one billionth of a meter. So trillions of atoms are going to fit inside the period at the end of this sentence right here. So you can imagine how teeny, teeny, tiny they are. So all atoms are going to be made up of what we call subatomic particles. They're going to be made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons. So protons are going to have a positive charge. Electrons are going to have a negative charge. And then neutrons are going to be neutral. So the way I remember protons and neutrons, if you are pro something, you feel positive about it. So protons are going to have the positive charge. And then neutrons, it has the same prefix. The new in neutrons and the new in neutral. So neutrons are neutral. So the way that these are arranged in the atom, you have this dense center known as the nucleus. So this is where you are going to have your protons and neutrons. This is where the mass of the atom is going to accumulate. Outside of the neutron, you have electrons, or out, outside of the nucleus, excuse me, you are going to have electrons orbiting the nucleus. And you're always going to have, in a neutral atom, in a neutrally charged atom, you are always going to have the same number of protons and the same number of electrons so that the electrical charges can cancel each other out. So make sure you do your questions and you turn them in to me. <laughs> 